Contessa. Kelly, the governor says Nevada is at phase zero of a phased reopening. He's closed schools through the end of the semester. And this weekend, protesters pushed back, frustrated with the broad closures of non-essential businesses. But the governor insists that to reopen, this path forward requires 14 days of declines in coronavirus cases, that hospitals have to maintain their capacity and vulnerable populations must be protected. He also insists social distancing must continue. So the challenge here is how do you reignite an economy that depends on crowds, on casino floors, day clubs and nightclubs, restaurants, shows, and especially the all-important conference and convention business? I spoke with former MGM CEO Jim Murren, who's now heading up the state's coronavirus task force. Initially, many of the high concentration of people in nightclubs and day clubs, they will not open. Um, and as immunity tests become more available, and it's certainly when the vaccine becomes available, then some of these relaxed, some of these regulations will be relaxed. And he says testing capacity is an economic necessity, not just a health necessity. The state's lab capacity has gone from 100 tests per day to now 2,000. The goal is 10,000 in a month and double that in a couple months. But Kelly, if you look at things like the Raiders are supposed to open that new stadium in a new season this fall, can that happen unless they're very innovative with the way that they put into place health safety? No, it's a great question. I mean, you know, this is a... It's not just sports. It's, it's the whole economy, and that's emblematic, especially in a place like Las Vegas and Nevada. Contessa, thanks so much. Contessa Brewer with a look sure. at what